we have 82.08 divided by 24. So we can use our usual method of long division, but because we have a decimal point in our dividend, we need to copy up that decimal point into our answer. Now that we've done that, we can basically ignore the decimal points and answer the question in exactly the same way as if we had 8208 divided by 24. So we need our 24 times table, and we can start by dividing 82 by 24. We can see that 3 times 24 is 72, so we can write 72 below the 82 and write a 3 in our answer. Now, 82 minus 72 is 10, and we can bring down the 0 so that we have 100 divided by 24. So now, because 4 times 24 is 96, we can write 96 under the 100 and 4 in our answer. Now 100 minus 96 is 4, and we can bring down the last digit, bring down the 8. 48 divided by 24 is exactly 2, so we can write 2 in our answer, and we have nothing left to divide, so because we've already written the decimal point in our answer, we know that 82.08 divided by 24 is 3.42. So now pause the video and see if you can use the same method to divide 151.47 by 27. So that we don't forget, it's a good idea to copy up the decimal point into our answer straight away. Now, if we have our 27 times table, we can use long division in the same way as if we were dividing a whole number. If we take the first two digits, we have 15, which is less than 27. So let's take the first three digits all in one go and work out 151 divided by 27. We can see that 5 times 27 is 135. So let's write 135 under the 151 and 5 in our answer. 151 minus 135 is 16 and we can bring down the 4 so we have 164 divided by 27. We can see that 6 times 27 is 162. So let's write 162 below 164 and 6 in our answer. Now 164 minus 162 is 2 and we can bring down the 7. So we have 27 divided by 27 which is 1 and we have nothing left to divide so we have our answer.